so first let's create find user so function find user and then we accept the user in the parameter here okay so first what we need to do is let's create the connection string so the connection string is what we're going to instantiate pdo with so we're going to use pdo in this tutorial series okay so let's go and say mysql so you have to make the connection string in this format mysql uh, semicolon db name in this case um db name is equal to um, that constant so let's append it to that so let's say database name and then let's append that to um, this um, colon here let's say host so it has a semicolon equal to localhost okay so it has to be exactly this format so append the database name to after the db name equal to here and then next let's instantiate pdo let's say pdo equals to new pdo and then we're going to pass in connection string as the first um, parameter and then next let's pass in database uh, username and then next let's pass in database password okay so these are the constants we define in config.php here so next let's create the sql for selecting um, the users with that username so let's say sql equal to select star from users where username equal to so in pdo we're gonna use uh, pdo params so basically to protect ourselves we do not do exactly where username equal to and then do dot username here is that it's not secure so what you do is you create a parameter here and then you do username so next so we're gonna bind to those parameters so basically let's create a statement statement equal to pdo and then prepare we're gonna prepare the statement pdo needs to do that so let's pass in the sql string and then next let's say statement execute and then whilst we're executing it now let's pass in an array which is going to substitute the value in username here so that array will be of this format it's going to be this key here which is username so we'll do um colon username and then the value will be a uh, username okay so next what we want to do is we want to check whether this statement here was executed okay so let's store it in a variable here called executor so this will be true or false based on whether the execution happened properly so let's say if not executed so we're gonna do a dollar sign there if that um, something went wrong let's print r and then uh, let's do statement and then let's call the error info um, on that object there okay so and then let's do an exit an error occurred execution statement okay else if everything went fine if you want to get the result that is um the result that came from this select statement up here so let's do result equals to statement and then let's do a fetch all so basically that just returns an array of rows for each um result that matches this um, sql selection here so let's return result okay so next let's create that login um user function here which is this login user so let's come to our functions.php and let's say function login user and also that accepts uh, a user as well so let's do user here so that's the user that we uh, just found here first what we need to do is let's start the session so basically in php there's nothing like start session so you have to um call a function called session start but let's create our own function called start session and that's going to check if the session is not already started then it's going to start it for us okay so if you have the latest version of php um, anything after 5.5 i believe will have this function down there so if um, session status okay if the status of the session is equals to php 
php session none this is a constant defined in php we're going to do session start okay so we only start the session if there is no session um, existing else if there's another session let's just leave it like that so let's do start session here on the login part and let's do dollar underscore session and then let's put the id to the id of that user okay let's store it in the session so let's say user id and then let's do dollar underscore session and then let's store the username as well okay so the username equals to user and then username okay so now what we're going to do is let's return dollar underscore session username and dollar underscore session and then the id so basically this will only return true if we have set the username and the id here or else it will return false because this will not be set okay so that's why we're doing the check for if login user here right so let's go to our um home page and try this out so if everything works fine if we don't have any errors um everything should work okay so the username is um let's check in our database in simple php cms users our username is lamin so lamin and the password is vice city so let's log in here it says undefined variable username on line 13 okay so let's do functions.php let's check on line 13 there because in the browser is saying functions.php on line 13 okay so let's check here so okay so we, we are um, executing here and then passing an array with this value username but there's no username here and i forgot that um find user accepts username as opposed to user okay so let's go back here now come back and just type lamin vicity and then i'll just do login so it says user name or password is invalid okay so basically what that means is that um inside of login user here um well if okay it says username or password is invalid so this is going wrong so password verify is going wrong or the count is equal to zero so what we need to do is let's do a var dump of um user here and then let's exit okay so i'm going to refresh this form here and do continue so of course it is returning um this user here for us so we're getting a password with this value here so it is returning an array so count of user is definitely um uh, not equal to zero so this will not happen here so then it must be the password here password verify okay let's uh let's do a quick check and see so let's um let's do a log uh do an echo of password verify and then let's just get the um see what returns from that function call okay whether it's true or false okay so i'm gonna come to the browser here refresh and now continue and um let me just remove this vadom here so let's echo password verify so i'll refresh again continue and it is false so let's inspect the dom here so it should print out false here so let's do a uh, negate that so that should be true as you can see it's true so basically um this password verifier here is returning false for us so basically um it means that the password we're entering is wrong so i will do a cross check so let's try another password which i had used while i was creating this tutorial here which is my password okay so let's go back to the form here lamin i'll use my password okay so i do a login so basically that was the right one so i'll just type it out here so it's not vicity it is my password 
Okay, so Vice City was the password for the localhost. My password is the password that's hashed in here. So when you call a PHP password hash function on my password, that's what gives you this string here. Okay. So um, that brings us to the end of this um, video here, wherein we process the login data for our login form, and then we logged in the user into our application. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.